Hello, here we have a hermit crab enclosure. If you have hermit crabs, you want something like this. Something like a square plexiglass aquarium. This particular one contains four hermit crabs. You don't really see them right now. Not the shell on top, but if you see the shell towards the right at the bottom there, uh, that's a hermit crab. He's hiding. And all the rest are hiding too. They like to bury themselves. What you should use, and I don't have a bag of it handy, is um, that that dirt at the bottom isn't really dirt it's ground up coconut and that forms the bedding and you should make it thick enough that they can dig they love to dig you should also have things for them to do here we have a swimming pool there's another swimming pool over there they also help to keep the moisture level up you have a food water bowl those shells um, and there they have some fruit salad it's basically dried fruit pieces they like that that shell is there for decoration. They also like to crawl under it. They like things. Uh, wood bark like this for them to climb. They like to climb. They like to stay buried. They come out, they eat, they bathe. They do make a mess. They do a lot of digging. So you need to be prepared every few days to clean these things out. At least the, um, the pools, clean them out, uh, take them out, clean them with hot water. Uh, some sort of whatever. If you use anything like cleanser or whatever to kill the germs, make sure you rinse it really well and get all that stuff off. Uh, you don't always have to do that once in a while. A lot of times hot water will do. Make sure your food doesn't get moldy. Uh, they tend to take things out onto the dirt, so you may get clumps that mold up. You take like a plastic fork and pull it out. Um, and you know, every few months is when uh, we change you know clean this completely out and put all new bedding in there um, but if you maintain it on a daily you know every few days whatever you keep on top of it that 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 bedding down there lasts a while try not to saturate the bedding there's always some spillage but that you know they like moisture you don't want them to dry out you need a little thing there you see it it's the hydro um, it's a thermometer and a hygrometer which basically tells you the temperature and the humidity Right now, because I have the, the cap off, the, um, the humidity is a bit on the low side because it escaped. But that, that, that builds right back up with all the water I have in here. Uh, this particular one has a, uh, I don't know, wait, before I do that, you can look. I don't know if you see down there. You may not be able to see, but down in there, they're hiding. There's a few buried in there. They cover themselves pretty well. Uh... They don't like to be bothered during the day. That one there, he, he buried himself. He was out before when I started cleaning this thing out. They're like uh, people who don't want to be bothered in the morning who pull the covers over their heads. So um, here you, uh, you put the lid on. Make sure that they can't climb up and fall out and get hurt, escape, whatever. And then this other lid basically keeps the humidity level. I keep it like that, just allow a little. And it keeps the humidity fairly nice. This unit also has a plug that you can plug in that heats the bottom, which is handy in the winter time. It's summer right now, I don't really need it right now, but uh, in the winter time it keeps a nice uh, temperature level in there for when it gets cooler in the house. Um, that's really, I mean, they're, they're really low maintenance pets. Kids love them. And here we just have, uh, here's some hermit crab food. They like that That's for the food bowl. I have another kind here, which is those variety bites. They like that. That's a little more powdery. Um, here we have the fruit salad, hermit crab fruit salad. Really nice. They like that. Add some variety to their diet. Uh, this is where I keep the water that I use. And basically, I use filtered water. Filtered or well water would be okay, uh, pretty much. Um, you want to use this Hermit Safe, which a little bit treats the water. You need to use this in the water. The, the drinking water and the pool water, I use the same. I, I, I basically mix it in one of these, gives me some water for a while. And uh, you don't want to use it straight from the tap. You do need filtered water to get the chlorine out, some sort of bottled water your crabs and you need to add this to it very important and that's about it these crabs uh, there's four in here they seem to be very happy uh, don't keep them in cages with a little layer of sand or whatever and nothing for them to do that's cruelty to animals um, they really like this coconut stuff they dig it it's even edible 
to a certain degree. And they love it. These crabs are happy. They come out mostly at night. They're nocturnal. They crawl around. They do things. And you think a bunch of bulldozers were in there uh, working around uh, constantly. They climb the little fake palm tree. They climb the wood. They go through the pool. Uh, they do make a mess with the dirt there. This is why every once in a while you have to clean everything out. Uh, and straighten out the bottom. I use a little plastic fork to uh, act like a rake. And uh, someone I know affectionately calls me a pool boy because I'm like the hermit crab pool boy. And you keep some extra shells in there, different sizes, in case they molt and they want to move into a bigger shell. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, if you go on vacation, you know, uh, if you have a lot of crab, four crabs like in this enclosure like this, um, the water can evaporate. Try not to be, try to get someone to look in on them. Um, if you can't take them with you because that water will eventually evaporate, you know, the food can go moldy and, uh, but they are pretty hardy little animals even if uh, you get held up and get back a little late. But uh, be careful with them because they're, they're living creatures and they deserve, uh, if you're going to keep them as pets, they deserve to be taken care of. Uh, they didn't ask to be pulled from the wild. So anyway, uh, that's about it. Hermit crabs uh, is a relatively low-maintenance pet that can be kept in a house, apartment, anywhere. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, benefit from my experience taking care of these for my, uh, my child. Um, you can teach the children how to take care of them, but an adult supervision is uh, necessary. And kids tend to slack off, so uh, uh, be an adult and make sure that the crabs have a nice uh, place to live. All right, take care. Bye-bye.